A second Carol Churchill play opens in as many weeks, with the Don Mars production of Political Dystopia Far Away followed by this sci-fi drama, which somehow condenses more than 2,000 years of ontological philosophy into a razor-sharp 60 minutes. The two-man production opens with a father and son, Roger Allen and Colin Morgan, respectively, embroiled in a heated debate. The father, Salter, is furious that a medical institution appears to have surreptitiously cloned his son and that a number of others are now wandering the country, each one believing himself to be the one. There's an absurd humor to Salter's attempts to put a monetary value on the situation, settling on £500,000 per clone as suitable compensation. They've weakened your identity. The value of you. As their conversation continues, however, holes start to appear in Salter's story, especially regarding his motivation for cloning his son in the first place. Read more. Read film review. Steve Coogan sets out to prove greed is not good Churchill's play is remarkable in the way it so gracefully touches upon the great philosophical questions without ever feeling didactic. A number is no cold thought experiment, but a quiet rumination on human nature, our desire to be unique, for our lives to have meaning, for our imperfect minds and bodies to somehow achieve perfect ends. It's warm and often funny, helped by Alan's talent for awkward humor, but leaves you feeling uncomfortable as you exit the theater. It's also well adapted, with director Polly Findlay embellishing little, allowing Churchill's precise, lyrical prose to do the heavy lifting. It takes place in an aggressively ordinary living room, which we see from various angles as the action unfolds. It's the kind of place you forget even as you're looking at it, which makes it the ideal backdrop for a play that asks whether we're really as unique as we think. Between scenes we see Salter pacing around this sad little house, can of coke in hand, staring into the middle distance. These interludes say as much as an hour's worth of dialogue, a lesson to young playwrights that brevity is a virtue. For more on this story, visit the news article link.